Really? So my editor broke. Like, what I used to edit. Legit just doesn't work. And... I didn't upload yesterday. It's like, what the heck am I gonna... What am I supposed to do? You know what I'm saying? But, uh... Had this sick, like, vlog ranking video planned. Now it's 9 p.m. I, I don't know what the heck to do. So we're just gonna rank the Spider-Man movies right here, right now. You got a problem with it? Leave. That's cool. I understand. This is gonna suck. But, uh, anyways. If, if you do want to stick around because you're insane and you want to watch bad content, hit that subscribe button. But, uh, anyways, number eight, we're starting off with The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Just not very good. Just not very good, isn't it? Um, yeah. The action is pretty, pretty solid, and Gwen Stacy is awesome. Everything else, though, just sucks. Like, this movie should not have been made just to have Gwen Stacy's death, because everything else in the film is just terrible. And I don't understand why they thought it was okay to do this. I mean, you know, it beats me anyways. Number seven, Spider-Man 3. Play the emo, emo Peter scene. You're pretty much fine here. I still enjoy this movie, I'm not gonna lie. I can have a little bit of fun with it. Overall, though, compared to the others, it's just not as well made, not... Not as good of a film, and I don't blame the people involved, because I know there was so much studio interference and everything, dog. but compared to the others, it's just not up there. Number six, The Amazing Spider-Man 1. I think this is just an okay film. It's okay. That's all I'm going to leave it at. Everything in here is pretty dang average. Um... Nothing more I can really say. Andrew Garfield is fine as Peter Parker. Emma Stone is amazing. That whole relationship is pretty great. But other than that, just average. Uh, number five now, the original Sam Raimi Spider-Man. I like this film. It's campy. It's outdated. But I like it. Number four, Spider-Man Homecoming. Really wanted to put this one higher, but there's too many great Spider-Man movies. And I do love this one. Vulture is amazing. I love Tom Holland as Spider-Man. I love Peter's development throughout it. The thing is, there are just better Spider-Man movies. Don't hate on me. Number three is going to be Spider-Man 2. This is still, in my opinion, one of the best comic book movies ever made. That train fight is incredible. The stuff about Peter losing his powers never really bothered me. And it's just an all-around great film. Number two, the newest entry in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Far From Home. I loved this film. I thought it had the best love story in the MCU. I thought Tom Holland still killed it. Jake Gyllenhaal, my man. My man came in and just did so well. So good as Mysterio. I mean, he killed it. And just a fun time, but they also wear this film. There are a lot of deep elements to it. But it's not as good as Into the Spider-Verse. I adore this film. I've seen it four times. It is a love letter to the character, and that's why it could be so good. Because it knows what it wants to be, and it executes perfectly. Everything in this film, from the animation, to the story, to the, the real lesson behind it, I think it's beautiful. And I love it. It's my favorite Spider-Man movie. Let me know your ranking down below in the comments. Thank you guys for those of you who put up with this. <sighs> Tough times. Tough times. This was my desperate measure situation. This is desperate me Bye.